Ms. Greenway? So um, I think there are um, several things that we want to do as um, Kirkland City Government to help integrate our new neighborhood into Kirkland. Um, I moved to South Rose Hill shortly after it was annexed into the city of Kirkland. And uh, my husband and I became involved in um, uh, neighborhood programs, in uh, working on issues, and we learned, and often by sort of stumbling through and making mistakes, <laughs> but we learned how to begin to work with Kirkland City Government, how to organize our neighborhoods, how to find out what our citizens wanted, and how to uh, work effectively with Kirkland City Government. And we need to give our new neighborhoods the opportunity to do that. And we are starting that process. Um, their neighborhood associations are beginning to organize. Um, Kirkland City Council is going out and having meetings with them. We're talking about how we do things. And we're giving them the opportunity to become part of Kirkland. Um, the, one of the major things that we'll be working on with annexation is how to balance our annexation budget. Uh, as many of you know, the thing that makes annexation work from a financial standpoint is we were given a uh, sales tax credit from the state of Washington and that is going to last for 10 years. Without that sales tax credit, we have a three to five million dollar a year gap in the cost of providing services to the annexation area compared to the revenue that the annexation area produces. So we have, a, we have 10 years to figure this out. How do we um, uh, increase revenues? How do we get efficiencies? How do we balance the annexation area? So we have a tremendous opportunity to make one Kirkland a bigger city a greater city to offer uh, new representation opportunities to our new citizens and move Kirkland forward together. Thank you.